Installing Plant Applications Universal Client for the first time? Already watched the video to install your Plant Application Server and Report Server? Ready for the next step? I'm Tom. I'm a QA developer here at GE Digital, and I'm here to walk you through the install of the Universal Client. With our Universal Client, you can take advantage of our cutting-edge MES web-based displays for efficiency, quality, and production management. Before we begin, in this video, we will be installing the Universal Client on a Windows Server 2016 box. We already installed the following software. Plan Application Server, Plan Applications Report Server, SQL Server 2016, Microsoft.NET Framework 4.7, Web Server IIS 8.0, Microsoft Excel 2016, Workflow 2.6, Historian Server 7.1, Adobe Acrobat, and Microsoft OLEDB driver for SQL Server. For a complete list of supported pre-requirements, please refer to the Plant Applications Getting Started or UCC Install Guide. For videos on how to install the Plant App Server, Workflow, or Historian, see our Discover and Learn playlist on YouTube or click the links below. The steps to install the Universal Client are Step 1. Install the Plant Applications Message Bridge and Step 2 run the UCC installer. Step 1. Install the Plan Apps Message Bridge. The PA Message Bridge includes RabbitMQ and Erlang. It is required to install the Message Bridge on the Plan Application Server. You can install the UCC without it, but you need RabbitMQ for using certain functionality, like activities. So to install the Message Bridge, on the Install screen, click Plan Applications Message Bridge. The Missing Requirements screen appears. Click Continue. The Welcome screen appears. Click Next. The License screen appears. Click Accept to continue and then click Next. The SQL Server Credentials screen appears. Enter the credentials to access the Microsoft SQL Server database and click Validate Connection. After you see a green check mark, you can click Next to move to the next screen. The Message Bridge Credentials screen appears. In the RabbitMQ Administrator Account Credentials section, provide a username and password that you intend to use as an administrator login to RabbitMQ. In the Plan Applications Administrator Account Credentials section, enter the username and password for an administrator account in PlanApps and the password COMX. Select Validate Connection. When the credentials are successfully validated, a green check mark appears. Click Next. The Ready to Install screen appears. Click Install. When the install completes, a message appears. Click Exit to complete the installation. The message bridge is now successfully installed on your computer. Please note, the message bridge service may not automatically start up the first time after installation. Go to the Services app and make sure Prophecy Server Messaging Bridge is running. Next, configure RabbitMQ with an admin user for the UCC. In Chrome, Open localhost with port 15672. If for some reason this connection is not made, go to the Services app and restart the RabbitMQ service. Enter guest as the username and password. Go to the admin tab. Click add a user. Enter the username and password of the administrator account you created when installing the message bridge. In the tags area, set the tag as administrator or enter any tag you like to signify this as an admin user. Click Add User. Click on the newly added admin user. Click the Set Permission button. Step 2. Run the UCC installer. From the installation screen, select the Plan Applications Universal Client SP5 link. The Welcome screen appears. Click Next to continue. The Prerequisites screen appears. If any pre-requirement is not already installed at this time, like the Microsoft OLEDB driver, you will need to do so before proceeding. Click Next to continue. The license screen appears. Click the Accept and Next to continue with the install. The installation directory screen appears. Leave the defaults and click Next. The UAA credential screen appears. Enter the historian admin password. Click Validate. Wait a moment until this turns to a green check mark. The Plan Apps Database Credential screen appears. Enter the server name in the server name field. It should be in the format of server name slash instance name if you are using a SQL instance. In the database field, 
enter the name of the plant applications database. Since we used all the defaults at setup, this name should be SOADB. Next, enter the username and password used to connect to the plant applications database. Since we installed using the defaults, leave the port field blank. You would only need to enter a value here if you set up a SQL Server with a non-default port. Select Validate Connection. Be aware that this may take a few moments to complete. When successful, a green check mark appears. Click Next to continue. The Postgres SQL screen appears. Enter a password and confirm it here. Be sure to jot this password down for later use. Click Next. The Tomcat installation screen appears. Enter a password and confirm it here. Also, be sure to jot this password down for later use. Click Next. The RabbitMQ screen appears. Enter the RabbitMQ configuration that you configured in the previous steps. Click Next. The Ready to Install screen appears. Click Install. Wait for the installation to complete. A message that says Installation Successful appears. Congratulations! You have finished installing the components of your plant application's universal client. For details on post-install configuration tasks, including setting up the client, see the Getting Started or the UCC Install Guide. This concludes our walkthrough. As always, thank you for watching.